the day for world records. We already saw the fastest ever uh, wet pad lap yesterday, and right now we've got the acceleration going on behind me, where we're going to have the current world record for the uh, 0 to 100 competing on our FSG track. Let's see how they do. Super upright, super gearbox, super bad crank, super guy, super chassis, super lenker, super crossblade, super guy. So I'm here with the three teams who have all been uh, FSG champions. Um, it's the U Uni Stuttgart, the ETH Zurich and the TU Delft. And not only have they been the fastest cars at FSG, but uh, they've all also been the fastest cars in the world. And they've all managed to break world records for the fastest uh, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. So uh, out of the three of you, who were first at breaking this record? <laughs> I think we from the green team, we were the first, we did it in 2012 the first time. Uh, it was uh, back then at 2.68, I think, uh, 2.68 seconds. And, yeah. Okay, and then what happened next? I guess you guys weren't too happy with this. <laughs> now in September 2014, we broke the record and we uh, brought it down to 2.134 seconds. So it's actually pretty quick and we were pretty confident that we would hold on for it for a while, but then a little bit more than a year later, they took it. Okay, so does that mean you you then got the record from them? Yeah, exactly. So in November 2014, um, we attempted it and actually beat the time and beat the time by or, or got a time that we ourselves didn't expect. And we ourselves then were pretty confident that that time would stand a little bit longer. And how long did that actually last? <laughs> I think um, eight months, something like that. So two weeks ago, we broke this record was really close, uh, 1.779 seconds, so um, I think uh, the guys have good possibilities to break it again, but let's see <laughs> when. Do you have to modify a lot in the cars to be able to, um, to break these records? Yeah, the rear wing is causing a lot of drag, so we're not driving with the rear wing, but um, in the rest of the cars the same, like it's driving in the Formula Student events. The only thing we changed also was the tires. Uh, because we wanted a little bit more grip and yeah, that was it. Okay. And what's so special about all three of your cars? What, what do they all have in common, which is what's sort of helping them break records? Well, I think one of the main advantages is the four-wheel drive concept because you can get a lot of uh, traction to the ground, a lot of torque to the ground. And that's basically the most important thing for acceleration. So I think that's, that's what stands out. <laughs>
as we are hanging out here uh, on the top of the Continental truck, enjoying the autocross going on in the background, uh, I just wanted to mention one more special award. Well, it's actually two. One of them is from Caltex. It's the most fuel efficient uh, car award. And the second one is from Harting, which is the most energy efficient award. They're both basically the same prize, uh, but for an E and C uh, cars. And I'm here with Carola and uh, Lisa, who are going to tell me a little bit more about their award. Well, it is easy. It is evaluated during the endurance, and the car that takes the least energy will win the prize. And it is normally represented by one of our CEO or a member of the board. The FSCS Challenge is a special event that was organized as part of the 10th year anniversary celebrations of FSG. Each of the FSG sponsors was given a generic toy car with a set of rules during the welcome ceremony early in the week. They had exactly four days to pimp it up before they race each other during the acceleration event. Each car was first inspected by the FSG scrutineers to ensure that it was not dangerous. Everyone had a lot of fun at the race and the judges would decide on the winner at the award ceremony. Hello. 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 Hello.